because it will get severely punished, not really giving himself margin for error. Yeah, and I think we've seen in the first two matches this evening it's playing a little bit quicker from this end, more difficult to control the length of the lifts. Again, centre attack seems to be paying dividends here. Anderson taking a little bit of pace off, getting very, very good angle, which gives Heather time to get into position. That looks a very, very good tactic for this game. Yeah, that's good judgment. 17 points to the Olympic champions, the number three seeds from Korea. for the Koreans. Oh. Well, that's two game points saved. Just one more remains. Well, she's looking calm enough to me. 19, 20. She's feeling nervous. She's certainly hiding it well. Good movement forward. Sheer threat of her movement going forward, probably forcing her opponent into error. Yeah. And this time, third time of asking the number three seeds, Lee Yong Day and Lee Hordong, close out the opening game against Anthony Clark and Heather Oval. 21-19. Well, the English pair certainly not outclassed by the Olympic champions in that opening game. Kang Hyun Jin, the Korean coach, former World Championship mixed doubles double medalist. Uh, well, that's what we would expect in doubles, I think. Far more low serves. I think it was extraordinary to see in that men's doubles, the previous quarterfinal we witnessed, so many high serves. And still offering advice, but I'm sure the fact that they were so close in that opening game, he will be very, very happy with the way this new English pair are developing in only their third tournament together. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Well, not quite sure what Nathan Rock, what uh, Julian Robertson. Was well, saying to his players in that mid game interval and then a game at the change of ends there. But he's surely happy with the way they're playing. I mean, if it was you down there still as their coach, what would you have said to them? 
I think it was very positive. I think Heather stood up to it remarkably well. What I would probably be saying is to Anthony is just to be a little bit more positive on return of serve. He's just been a little bit passive on return of serve, but the rallies, they're, they're moving well and the combinations look good, really. One love. Very good, and all set up from a much better return of serve from Anthony, taking the shuttle a little bit earlier, getting it down and getting that first attack. And headed very efficient on the forecourt so far. Oh, good change of pace. She's so strong is Lee Ho Jung from the back of the court, of course, winning the Olympic silver medal in women's doubles, and she's bound to be strong from the back of the court, but it does give this extra dimension to, to them as a mixed doubles pair. Gives Lee Yong Day the freedom to go forward to the net if he wants to. As with a lot of the young Korean girls, she started in singles, and she did actually play the All-England in singles as a as a 17-year-old, and she's got that solid rear court play that you get from singles play when you're young Three. very very solid all court player in the English setup are you still encouraging all developing players to play all three disciplines we are and we've put a lot more emphasis with the younger players on singles at, during the last two to three years just to get them to play more singles play where they have to take more decisions and get get more, more interesting situations as regards as what to do when, when you're on, the own, on your own on the court and have to make those decisions. A very important stage of development for world-class players. A voice of experience there from Ian Wright, former head coach to the England team. Now working, I think, more with the development players, is that right? That's right, more responsibility for the regional setup and some of the younger players and the uh, young programmes. Simply not deep enough with the backhand there, Anthony Clark. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Addressing the shuttle so early, and it's always a sign that a player is in control at the net when they come from above the shuttle to play the shot, not from underneath it. Look how she's got her racket coming down on the shuttle instead of coming from beneath it. Total control. And things are looking a little bit ominous for the English pairing now. Seven, one. This will be a good test for their teamwork and the combination that they've been working on. Um, but it's in extreme conditions. Quarterfinal of the All England against the Olympic champions. This is, this is hard. And again, we've just seen Anthony a little bit passive. He's looking to get away from the net very quickly after the return, rather than maybe committing a little bit more to the forecourt there to put a bit of pressure on with the return. Anthony Clark really playing his partner into trouble there by playing the cross-court shot and therefore Heather Olver on the straight and vulnerable to that power shot. Got to stop the run of points here. Eight straight points for the Koreans. Yep, indeed they do. It's good to see them before that point though, stopping, talking. Heather contributing again, she's still talking and that's a very positive sign for the future. Good smash. You know, I think that Lee Ho Jung, she, she might be the most successful player at the Olympic Games, so who am I to criticise? But I think she's got a real weakness on defence. I think that when she's on the cross court...